Obsolete 2003 here. I'm joined with Espionage DB7. That's right, the one, the only spectacular Espionage DB7, the host, uh, the ghost host with the most kids that can boast the most from coast to coast, and I can't remember anything that rhymes with host. Anything else? <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> Anywho, we're still continuing on with our oddities and entrails with Scare Tilbert. <laughs> I actually rehearsed that in my mind a little bit before I said it, and I completely ruined it. Let's start over. No. Come on. I, I had it. It was going to be good. It was, it was like, I'm, I was a spectacular host with the most, and ghost, and I lost you it again. You did it again. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Anyways. Uh, so, yes, this is a, a, one of the continuations that we're doing with the oddities and entrails. It's the... It's been requested that I do a playthrough of Amnesia. I've never really played this game before, so... Actually, it was me that requested it. This is actually, up to this point in time, this is the scariest game I've ever played, and one of my, my top all-time horror game, um, beating out my previous one, which was Fear, uh, First Encounter Assault Recon. Um, that was previously my, my best horror game, and um, I really wanted to see Obs uh, play this and his reactions to it, so I'm hoping uh, to see him beat it, beat it. I know that we've already had uh, Val do some gameplay on this on this particular game, but I want to see what Obs is going to think of it, since I know he's the horror guru of the channel, or at least one of them, so... Yes. So let's give the spin, see what it's all about. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the show. Start a new game. And he's going to settle down. No. Scared yet? No. Look, that's creepy. What is that? It's a thing. Don't forget. Some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. you made a note of what your name is. Joy Joe Jr. Shepard you. Hey! Joey Jojo! One thing uh, very important about this game, not spoiling anything, I'm not going to spoil anything, but all the notes that you find, um, you know, the little papers and documents and stuff that you find are very, very important to the plot, so do try to keep them in mind and, you know, remember what you read and what you hear, like the little opening about what you were hearing, you know, do be sure that you keep keep all that in mind. Gotcha. And yeah, this is, this is actually awesome, awesome game. This, this game put this company, uh, Frictional Wear, or whatever the heck it's called, <laughs> put, it put them on the map. You know, like, this this game was, like, renowned. Um, and it's it's one of the first games where you, like, can't defend yourself. It's just kind of like a run-and-hide type thing. Like, I'm, I myself am playing, um, I don't know if you've seen, uh, playing a game called Outlast. It's more like, to me, it strikes me like a modern-day version of this type gameplay mechanic and I'm really liking it so far I'm definitely gonna do some more of that one mm -hmm. but I think like this game kind of started started it all with that that mechanic yeah it's reminds me of Kane from Robocop that's your brain <laughs> Kane Goodbye. Why can't I just take this candle with me? Don't try to throw logic into this. <laughs> I will tell you one thing though. Um, be be not hasty with your tinder boxes. You know, use them tactically. 
Yes. This place is in some disrepair. Perfectly good candle, why can't I just take them with me? This isn't seven days to die, okay. <laughs> can't just pick the fucking candles and torches off the wall. Hey, what's this? What is that? Oh shit. Uh, I think it's supposed to be following this trail of me. Getting sidetracked here. Are you, are you just fucking leaving all the doors open? Are you? No, you, say, you, you say it's in disrepair and you're not doing anything to help it be in any better shape, you know? I'm not leaving any worse shape. Yes, you are. You're leaving fucking doors open in your wake everywhere. usage of religious imagery is definitely one of the things that impacted the uh, the ambiance and the fear for me mm -hmm. since uh,
I know you cannot pick up the torch. <laughs> You'll get something soon enough. few years since I've played this, I, I was just thinking right now, more likely, when the scare, the real scary shit starts happening, it's probably gonna be me that gets more freaked out than you. Most likely. Hey, you agreed with me. You are a big scaredy cat. I am not a scaredy cat, I just, I let myself get immersed. The more you get immersed, the, you, you, the more impact the game has on you. I will tell you one thing, I, I've been playing this game called Corpse Party at the behest of one of our viewers, uh, Death the Fox Goddess, mm -hmm. and I'm actually really enjoying that one. That was actually a really cool game. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've uh, had about two hours into it and I, I'm really liking it. Some trunks can be opened, others can. This, I don't think that. <laughs> Get this shit out of here. God damn, pretty strong. Hey, Even being able to fucking fling big ass crates across the room. Yes, should have been standing there. I also I'm doing pretty good with these tinder boxes. Yeah. Those are what you use to light the candles and shit. But I think you probably already knew that. Just trying to fucking burn things. I need a light source. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you have a light source, you just need to find oil for it. If there was a monster after you right now trying to find you, you you'd like you're really doing a good job of, you know, keeping quiet and incognito. There's not a monster charging after me. Uh, and they say charging after you, I should try to find you. I showed who's boss. What's going on? Nineteenth of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. 
try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Interesting. It's kind of like that scene in True Lies. Get your ass to Mars. I mean, that fucking True Lies uh, got them... Uh, Total reason. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You're not you, you're me. Oh, there you go. It's the double tap. You guys, I can take this candle with me. Oh, and would you drop the candle things already? You can't take the candles. You have a lantern there. So remember, point of the game, go into the inner sanctum, kill a feeble old man. Shouldn't be hard, right? Nah. You, you're young and strong, and he's feeble and weak, or whatever. Yes. Nah, can you run? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. It's a fucking overgrown shingles virus. <laughs> Our 
chat or can I something rather? Like 
just should be right with that down arrow. Yeah, it looks like yeah. If you click here for more, but I guess not. suffer some effects. Yeah, that's your sanity meter. Um, basically, the more time you spend in darkness or the more like scary shit that you witness, you kind of start to lose your sanity, which can be detrimental to your health as well. There you go. I think you could act, interact with those valves that were up by the table. Yes. doing terrible things I take comfort in you as long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together I know I'm better than the others I weep for them they have they lost they lust for power I can't I can't read from here they lust for power without restraint where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return have something to do with memory. Like, I think they're... You hear that? Yeah, I think those things are like some kind of memory triggers. I think you'll find them peppered around, but they're... They're, uh... Some kind of memory deal. Give me some 
probably contains the mixture once you actually get them. Yeah, because I see like the, the reactions, and it goes to here, which I assume I would have to put the jar there. Yeah, probably won't let you until you actually have a little Bunsen burner. It'll burn your Bunsens. Looks like it'd be the option of like a tinderbox of like the Bunsen burner. Yeah, just throw more shit at it. That'll that'll fix it. Why is it? Oh, I might have the headaches and the head shakes or something. To re to reduce your level of insanity, um, if you if you start getting like too crazy or whatever, <laughs> um, you you just have to stay in the light for a little bit, um, where shit isn't going nuts, like where you're not hearing like crazy shit mm -hmm. um, and, and it kind of starts to improve itself a slight headache yeah you're, you're not too bad right now you just got a slight headache so if I just stay here for a moment then it, it just kind of goes away then I believe so if I remember correctly that's how I used to where you had to stay like in the light and because the more crazy shit you witness or hear or the more time you spend in the darkness your sanity starts to go and it can like the the the, the, the more your insanity your, your sanity goes, it, it, it starts to affect your health. Yes. This is... More different chemicals are needed to continue, so... I assume I have to have the four different chemicals first. Yeah, you, you don't have what you need right now to, to do this experiment deal. How aggressively you just fucking throw shit around. Yes. There's a woman still screaming bloody murder from somewhere. a lot. So don't think that goal you can't go back to the stream room. notes like you scribble to yourself. So into my fruit cellar. What's that from? You would have two. Process of elimination. If one ash goes into the basement. I don't remember specifically the line, but and the Yeah no I, I I get you, I just I don't I was trying to place it. I guess I can't save the screaming lady since all my means of. <laughs> have to. What else? Oh, you'll find out what happens to the screaming lady later. I don't want to spoil it for you. That's a first. <laughs> man, it's I'll, 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 man. When you find out, I'm just kidding. I'd like to tell you what what happens. I'm sure you would. But I'm not going to. Something broke that door. So. Libri. What? Libri, one. 
rare book. Rari. Libri Rari. I wonder if that's where the term library came from. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Look, there's a roach. <laughs> so you're some kind of archaeologist, it seems. And what did you uncover out there in Africa? What did you bring back with you? And what did you leave behind? What the hell is that? So I think it's a person like wearing like a bear skin or something. This is kind of seemed like a big area, so I backpedaled real quick. Because I saw that there was another area this way. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't like that. Confirm that for <laughs> It's like, that kind of kills that option. Yeah, process of elimination. services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilman, House of the Garage. Indentured servitude contract. Ass fucking moon. Yeah. And this is daytime outside, which. I really. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yes. Yeah, Catch the wall. How many tinder boxes do you have? Ten. Well, ten. Doing pretty good on those. Yeah. It sucks as a guy really wanted to waste them in random places. Yeah. This is kind of... The 
fuck was that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. I'm sure maybe it was just the door. Why oh, can't that? Like, where are you? Like that random noise that you that you heard on that um, seven days playthrough that we were doing, or when we had a horde night, and uh, some weird ass fucking noise. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. That's not good. I wonder what's gonna happen to you. Unless I was infected. <laughs> Unless I was infected. Well, obviously you got out. <laughs> Did I? Did I really? Well, I mean, obviously. I mean, obviously. Right? Obviously? Maybe. It, oh, what the shit. You know. Pretty sure that was valuable. <laughs> Way to break shit. have firewood in them can be dead. What the hell is that painting? Is that guy got arrows in him? No. This guy's Preaching. talking about he caught a fish and that was this big. <laughs> what a doof. Hey, what's this other guy down there at the bottom? What the hell is that? No. He has spears. They're pointing at a UFO that's somewhere up here and it's like, maybe we can poke it. Like, That's a big painting right there. Freaking sinking armada. That was the last time I let you drive this boat. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the fucking time that I played Age of Empires and uh, um, with Ring, and I started creating a fucking navy. I think I somehow sank my own boats or some shit. I don't remember what the fuck I did. I I did something. What the fuck? Wait, go, look back at that painting. Look at that woman. Are those babies all over her? Looks like a little, well, they look like they have wings. So. Uh, like cherubs or something. Seraphims or whatever Except they're called. Except this must look like a little baby, but the rest look like, yeah, they have wings. And they're trying to go fishing up here and trying to bait Freaking her one of the little babies. The fucking Apu's octuplets. Some of these ones 
Das ist so dark. This is a goddamn maze. Yeah, cool. This is back where you were, right? Yeah. That yeah, sucks because like I want to waste my tinder boxes in the room. That's like, to that me, you're not gonna, yeah. Yeah, you're not really gonna come back to. But they're not burning the oil, exploring. Yeah, that's uh, tactical choices. If I remember correctly, the tinder box, um drop rate, I guess, for lack of a better term, or, like, the the frequency at which you find them, um, gets a little, get, you know, starts to dwindle. Mm -hmm. So as the game progresses, you find them less and less. And understandably so. Yeah. So that's where you you were already over here. <laughs> the crucifixion. Calvary Hill. Yeah, say it's pound cake. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is, actually. Moldy bread. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Somebody playing the piano earlier, remember? Yes. but not breakable by hand. Oh, kidding. 
you were trapped. Well, I guess that kind of determines where you're going. Whoa. What the hell kind of mess you making, man? I'm not the one that made this avalanche safety hazard. Obviously you did, because there's nobody else around. It was perfectly fine and stable until you came around. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Interesting. Yeah, so you're basically an architect. Art Vandalay. Piano again? That's just outside. Too slow. <laughs> I gotta admit, I like your style. You fucking run out to confront whatever the fuck it is. Every like, oh shit, what the fuck is out here? Rock. <laughs> that rock. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna fucking fight off a shadow that's trying to kill you or whatever. <laughs> you fight a shadow with a rock? Maps. That's the, the monster squad where I had to break the thing to get the little amulet. My team name at work is called the Monster Squad. Oh yeah. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, there's something that could be moved there. Probably the closet or whatever on the other side. Yeah, but it's it's face down. Yeah, those tinder boxes don't give much light. Those torches did before. But you can't take them, can you? yourself towards the enchanting light. <laughs> it was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. That's very cool. What? 
I'm turning away and it's automatically pulling me to it. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I took my hand away from the mouse. Oh, okay. It, well, he said you're drawn to it. That's, yeah, yeah. He says, I feel myself drawn to it. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Interesting. See, told you that you made it out. Now if you can make it out of here, that's another story. Anything in your inventory that you can use? No. No, nothing you can pick up, right? Yeah. There's gotta be something you're missing. still called bullshit because I looked this one over here. Well, who knows how long you were out? Maybe you went out. Yeah, you're not getting out through there. You checked all those drawers and stuff, right? Yes. They're all empty and Check your inventory. Hmm. There's gotta be something. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while. There's gotta be fucking something that... Throw a fucking rock at it. Does that see? Yeah, I can throw... to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dad. Break all three for good measure. Smashy, smashy. Spooky music. What does that say? Local folklore. Alt stats and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt. 
deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit, there, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are, call, they are called gatherers, as they seem to follow someone, some ambition to steal living creatures. Damn, steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside the damp burlap sacks right the behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrik. Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known Eritude, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who has the mysterious man? Who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby Altstad, and like most, those of noble birth. Rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation occupation and join the coveted order of Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Fucking racial ghoul. There are two of these entries that are actually going to be pretty important. I'm crazy. <laughs> you haven't even gone to like the stuff that's trying to kill you yet. Like it's just kind of building up. Thanks for spoiling it. What? How is that spoiling it? I don't think they're trying to kill me. Dude, you've seen the... Shut up. Just shut the hell up. <sighs> shut Couldn't up. Couldn't go one segment where you could not spoil. It's a horror game, and the fucking character even tells you that there's a shadow after you. All I'm telling you is you haven't gotten even Doesn't to that mean part. it's going to kill me. <laughs> no, what is it trying to... You to ruin it and what tell is me it? it's trying to kill me. What is it after you for? To give you a hug? Maybe. To embrace you in its darkness and comfort you against all things that can harm you? Sit at a campfire telling spooky stories with marshmallows. It's a fucking shadow, okay? It says don't let it... it he even says, like, 
the, don't fight, run. You you can't fight back against these things. Like in one of the notes that you pick up, he, he tells you, don't even shut up. Just, spoiled just, it. Just I, I think fuck. at this is a good time to cut off and see you, well, won't, you won't do any more spoilage. Spoilage. Yes. Dude, I didn't spoil shit. Shut up. You, you're such a dupe. On that note, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. This session of what you amnesia. As I forgot. The title. <laughs> I was about to say, like, would you forget what it's called? No. Like, Are you having a case of amnesia there? Maybe. Maybe you ha you should. I need to, to step into the light real quick. But uh, this is this is looking pretty cool so far. I'm I'm digging it. Uh, it is a very cool game. I really do like it. And you haven't gotten to the meat of the game yet. I'll leave it at that. And hopefully that won't spoil any. What more. did I spoil? Just but shut up. I anyways, didn't... wrapping this up on obsolete 2003 with the Duke here. Espionage DB7, the one, the only. Rocket blasted longer than Oh no, you're but... not gonna do that on my video. <laughs> on your video? Yes. I was. This is my playthrough. So but I was a part of the video too. Yes. Anywho, if uh, you like what you see, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us with the oddities and entrails. And keep tuning in all month long as we bring you more horror games and oddities. Yes. And entrails. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>